look, let's move on because I want to talk about an extraordinary incident involving ABC journalist Louise Milligan, who has been accused of sending female lawyers to tears during a speech hosted by the Women Lawyers Association in the ACT. The Australian's Janet Albrechtson writes, journalist's speech to women's lawyers ends in tears. Some women at the gala dinner were in tears. Many more were hurt and upset as they sat through an address they say shamed female barristers and lawyers who defend people accused of sexual crimes. Female defence lawyers who attended that evening, from senior members of the profession to more junior ones, claimed to the Australian they felt under attack by Milligan's address. They spoke of the public humiliation they felt as other female lawyers applauded Milligan's attacks on their work as criminal lawyers. Now, for context, this speech happened while jury deliberations were underway in the Bruce Lerman and Brittany Higgins trial for a supposedly impartial ABC journalist to be making comments as described in this reporting is absolutely disgraceful. But it got worse, with Milligan taking to social media to attack Albrechtson personally. In her rant, she described the article as misinformation by The Australian. Keep in mind that Milligan's Twitter posts have got her sued before, and the taxpayers through the ABC picked up the tab in the Andrew Lamming matter. She has clearly learned no lessons from that saga and went on to suggest that the Australian did not run her denial. She wrote a piece of writing that cannot be called journalism. How is it acceptable in a newspaper in 2022 to run information based on inaccurate hearsay without including any denials? Because it is part of your ongoing culture war is beyond me. Well, we actually read the article and Milligan's claim was false. The Australian actually published this. Contacted by The Australian, Milligan said the claims relayed to The Australian by women at the dinner were a, quote, complete distortion of my speech and contain multiple allegations that are demonstrably untrue. She specifically denied describing prosecutors and criminal defence lawyers as incompetent, suggesting that cross-examination could be more traumatic than sexual assault or saying that women would not make false allegations of sexual assault. Well, if Milligan has fudged the facts on that crucial detail, what else is untrue? Well, much of Milligan's issue with the story is that she claims to have been congratulated by many people in the legal industry for her speech. Now, that does not disprove anything at all. It does not rob the women who complain to the Australian of their stories, stories of them being brought to tears, feeling shamed and humiliated. I thought at the ABC the narrative was to believe women, not to silence and discredit their experiences. Kosher, keen to hear your thoughts on this, this whole saga. Um, I do think at the ABC there is a very strong editorial narrative that uh, you must believe women, at the very least they're to be more believed um, in most situations. But now you have one of the most senior reporters essentially discrediting the experiences that they have told to the Australian. Uh, it was really interesting. I think for one, uh, insulting in any way, shape or form the audience that you're speaking to is a, an interesting public speaking tactic that she employed there. Um, you know, and, and the other, though, I think is what, what you say, though, that this whole issue of believe all women. And yes, you know, it's, it's fun to sort of cudgel the other side with that, that same thing that they've been lobbying, um, you know, at, at the other side. It, it really runs against 2000 years of jurisprudence, like the whole concept in our free society coming out of English common law is that you are uh, innocent until proven guilty. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. Women lie to, men lie to, it doesn't matter. And also the other thing is we do not tar attorneys in the system with the allegations against the clients that they represent. So uh, this I think just smacked of kind of a, a lack of understanding of that or willingness to um, accept that and sort of insulting uh, people who are uh, engaging in a very difficult, rigorous profession that is the law as criminal attorneys um, is, is why you're seeing the backlash that um, she's received against that. And it just kind of runs antithetical to I think the entire fundamental concept of the way the legal system works and should work in free societies. Yeah, and Daisy, I thought ABC journalists were going to stop doing this on Twitter. I thought they were going to stop having public meltdowns. Louise Milligan herself has had to pay out money. Well, the ABC paid it out on her behalf um, for her social media activity. Are they going to learn their lesson about their social media conduct? 
Well, evidently, it seems not, um, given this Twitter rant that Louise uh, Milligan has gone on. And she's been really quite personal about, about Janet Albrecht. And if, if, if you read the thread, like, it's not just a simple matter of disputing it. She, she said mm. quite nasty things about uh, about Janet, which is certainly uh, the furthest thing from remaining impartial. Um, and it is certainly not uh, diplomatic. I, I mean, and the, the fact that she outright said that the Australian uh, didn't publish her denials, which is so demonstrably false... I don't know what Louise Milligan is thinking in doing that when all you, all you need to do is pick up the article, have a read and go, oh, look, there's a whole paragraph there describing her denials. The article is, is actually very fair. And interestingly enough, um, Janet's article also points out that the Australian did actually ask for an audio or a transcript of the speech and yes. none were provided. So there's a few issues there, uh, certainly. Um, and as for uh, the women themselves who have um, said they were so upset by Milligan's speech, I, I mean, um, one of the things they said they were really upset about was the, the applause of the other lawyers, the lawyers who cheered and applaud, applauded Milligan for the things that she was saying. Um, and it, it, it possibly denotes this, this strange ignorance of the real foundational principles of the legal system by lawyers of the presumption of innocence and the right to a fair trial and the principle that it's better for 10 guilty people to go free than for one innocent person to be convicted. There's a whole, a whole lot of core tenets there. Um, that Louise Milligan's speech um, allegedly just simply does not stick to. Um, and evidently, uh, the principle of believe all women does, in fact, get thrown out the window uh, when the usual activists in question um, are, are the ones under scrutiny, that's for sure.